welcome ladies and gents. Here we have uh, an interesting video about the Batman. Now, Robert Pattinson himself has started to talk about the potential of a sequel, whilst also dropping what I guess you could say is a minor spoiler. Um, I'm not going to say it's a huge spoiler uh, at all. I'd say it's like pretty standard for these kind of films, in fairness. But, you know, if you don't want any spoilers at all, then there you go. But, I mean, it's not really, you know, if you've watched any movie, you'll know that this is bound to happen. Uh, but the talk of a sequel is an interesting one because, well, we heard rumours that there was going to be uh, a trilogy. I think uh, the fact that they are spinning off so many shows, we've got The Penguin for HBO Max, we've got Gotham Police Department for HBO Max. I, I'd say a sequel is quite likely, uh, but I, I'd say no star is going to want to commit and say, yeah, we're getting a sequel when their film hasn't even opened yet yeah sure some people do but you know Robert Pattinson's not that guy he's not really a bashful person in interviews so let's dive into this today ladies and gents I hope you're well if you enjoy this video don't forget to uh, hit that thumbs up button subscribe and do share it but here we have it right the Batman star Robert Pattinson has spoken about sequel chances and drops a possible minor spoiler we also get some uh, commentary from Zoe Kravitz with respect to Selena Kyle and how she becomes the Catwoman, which is quite interesting. We are we are certainly seeing a type of origin story for these characters. Absolutely unequivocally we are. So, it, during an interview with Games Radar, Robert Pattinson admitted that he struggles to imagine a follow-up to the Batman, but wait, okay, just wait, all right? So he says this, when I saw it the first time, even from the first shot, it does feel incredibly different tonally to the other movies. And it's so strange and kind of, it's sad and quite touching. We'll get to that in a minute. It's a really, really unusual Batman story and it almost seems harder for me to imagine it being a series afterwards. I mean, they always have that little bit at the end that's like, and coming up, but other than that, it feels strangely personal. I think people will be shocked at how different it is. Right, well, let's let's dissect that commentary. So, first and foremost, when I saw the first time, even the first shot, it does feel incredibly different tonally. It's strange, kind of sad, quite touching. This goes, you know, this is it's quite a an inspired take on the Batman, I believe, by the sounds of it. Obviously, this is all speculation, right? But from what we've seen, this does seem... It, it really, really does seem like an inspired take on the Batman. One which I can definitely get behind. Uh, different tonally to anything we've seen before. Yeah, look, you know, I'm playing devil's advocate and saying, taking them on their word. We could be completely false and we could be talking absolute bollocks and it could just be like, you know, a Nolan film, for instance. But... You know, it could be. It absolutely could be uh, a tonally different film. Quite sad. I think we've seen elements of that in the trailers. Uh, and also, you got to think about the Batman as a character. It is quite a sad character. He's an orphan. You know, his his, his you know by murder, his parents got murdered. He become an orphan. Um, you know, billionaire doesn't know what to do with his money, so he then decides to become a vigilante, become vengeance. I think that works very, very well. Now, the other thing here, right? This is the other interesting thing, which I think actually adds some credence to some of the rumours which we'd already heard, right? So, we heard rumour that we would be getting uh, Joker at the end of the Batman. The fact that he's literally saying, I mean, they always have that little bit at the end that's like, and coming up, right? We heard a rumour we were going to be seeing the Joker, or at least hearing the Joker at the end of the Batman. Could that be a spoiler for that? Maybe. I mean, maybe. Again, this is the thing that I was saying. It's not really a spoiler. It's pretty obvious that they were going to do something like that. If you watch any movie ever, they always try to set something up. They leave it open for something to happen at the end of a film. So, yeah, the Batman. But this obviously does coincide with what we've been saying. Uh, the rumours with respect to the Joker turning up. Would I like the Joker turning up at the end just for like five seconds? Yeah, look, I think if this movie's any good, I think the Joker will be a good addition. I think, you know, I think that however the movie 
is will be uh, indicative of the quality of a Joker cameo, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Uh, it's interesting that he says, you know, other than that, it feels strangely personal. Again, going back to that sort of, you know, the Batman being uh, very serious in tone, tonally different. Love it. I really, really love it. Um, and and I think he's just saying these kind of things in terms of like, well, you know, I can't say whether we're going to get a sequel yet. So, who knows just yet. But then we also, so first, what do you think of that? What do you think of the Joker turning up? Would you like that? Would you dislike that? Let me know down below. Personally, again, if the movie's good, I think it means that they'll probably handle, you know, an end cliffhanger quite well as well. Obviously, it doesn't, doesn't mean that they will, but it means it's quite likely. Uh, so now we have the commentary from Zoe Kravitz. Again, drop your thoughts down below. Would love to hear your thoughts. So, Zoe Kravitz. And she's, she plays it, uh, a lot more positive so she says to see a person like selena really get in touch with her power and become catwoman that's a journey that i'm really interested in exploring so that's not just the movie that's her saying yeah i want to do this move more moving forwards i want to explore catwoman moving forward so very much yeah i'm open to sequels now she does say we haven't quite seen that yet we usually meet catwoman and it's either a very quick transformation, an overnight thing, or she's already there. True, she is quite literally speaking the truth there. That is the case with Catwoman's that we've seen. Uh, either happens like that, very quick, overnight, whatever, or she already is a fully fledged Catwoman. This is an origin of sorts for these characters. Now she continues and further and says, and so to find the emotional journey that brings her to the place where she is making the choice to be this person is what I'm really excited about. Now that, of course, uh, does show us what we're, you know, is indicative of what we're going to be getting in the movie, uh, showing an emotional journey, her um, becoming Catwoman, uh, but then her being excited about exploring it moving forwards. Yeah, great. Good that she's open to a sequel. Uh, I think, I, I, I genuinely just think Robert Pattinson is trying to play it as safe as possible. Uh, and also, you know, Robert Pattinson's not normally the kind of guy to sign on for multiple projects. He's, he's just not. He's, he's been very careful with the films that he chooses to do. Uh, and this is no different. So I think he would have worked out a deal with respect to, you know, quality of the film versus whether he signs on for any more. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section about all of this. Please do let me know. Are you hyped for this film? I am. For more updates on the Batman, do hit subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, though, guys. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. H Reviews. Take care.